continue our month-long focus on missing persons. Tonight, we're going to take a look at the children who disappeared in Maryland. Thousands of children are reported missing every year here in Maryland. And most of them reunite with their family. But WMER 2 News' Mark Roper explains what Maryland State Police want parents to know about keeping their kids safe. A missing child is more likely to be a runaway than abducted by a family member or stranger. It's why Maryland Center for Missing and Unidentified Persons Director Carla Proudfoot wants people to reconsider their perception of what it means for a child to be a runaway. They're not just a runaway. You know, they're, how are they surviving? How are they eating? Where are they sleeping? So it, those are important things and, and the, there's statistics that Every time a child runs, they go farther and stay away longer until they don't come back. Sergeant Debbie Flory works in the child recovery unit. There's a study that shows if you run away more than three times, chances are you're going to need help and you're going to get it from somebody who's going to traffic you in some form. So um, it's survival. Nearly 4,800 juveniles were reported as missing in Maryland in 2020. And while many of those are runaways, some kids fall victim to online predators. Sergeant Flory says complaints in the Internet Crimes Against Children unit skyrocketed since COVID when most kids were at home and online in virtual classrooms. There's so much that you can't even keep up with it. So uh, you can be lured or groomed on Xbox, PlayStation, TikTok, Instagram. So it's there's so many multiple platforms now that the groomer doesn't even have to leave his house. While most missing person cases involving children have a happy ending for families, there are steps parents can take to be proactive in case their child goes missing, such as always have a good quality current head and shoulders photo of your child, monitor your child's cell phone, internet and social media activity, and maintain a list of their online passwords so you can access their accounts. You should always have a list of your child's friends, their phone numbers, their parents' addresses, so that you have something to give law enforcement to look for. If they don't have any leads to follow, they're going out there blinded. They don't even know where to begin to look. So the more information parents can give police, the better. I can't imagine at night not knowing where your children are when you're going to sleep and even being able to sleep. So it's, it feels really good when we can relay those parents' fears and the child gets recovered and you know they get whatever services they might need. Which is why Proudfoot has dedicated 36 years to the plight of missing children here at the Maryland Center for Missing and Unidentified Persons. I, I ran away when I was 11. And it was for stupid reasons. I wanted to be on my own, you know, 11 year olds don't make great decisions and even 16 year olds don't make great decisions. And I always felt like that these kids are falling in the cracks. If nobody's helping them, their, you know, their life is not going to have a good outcome. In Pikesville, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.